welcome to my channel if you're new here hey how you doing thanks for stopping by even taking a look and if you're returning thank you so much for returning and staying tuned and if you haven't yet follow my instagram at planetzoid that's why i post all the time pretty much every day so today i'm going to be doing um just like a short wallet collection video um, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I was showing one of my purses and somebody wanted like a more in-depth about the wallet. So I was like, I don't have a lot of wallets, so might as well just do a whole little collection video. So I'm going to be showing you three wallets. Well, I mean, I consider this one a wallet too. So we're just going to say three. I'm going to show you the three of my MK wallets that I have. My purse collection is almost done, so I'm so excited. And then I will be doing a whole purse collection video, and hopefully soon I could get matching wallets to go, you know, with my bags. So, yeah. So the first wallet I'm going to show you is this wallet right here. Um, it's called the Begonia. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, it's the MK Begonia wallet. You can also look up Carnation. I've seen it pop up with that name too. Um, but I've had this wallet for a few years now. And it's still in wonderful condition. And I use it pretty much almost every day. I love this wallet because it has a lot of different compartments that I can use. And I love the color. That's definitely what caught my eye was, you know, the design. It was really pretty. And they also have like longer size wallets. And I think back then they might have had a bag with this design as well. But I didn't get the bag. All I got was just the wallet. So this is how the back looks. And this is how the front looks. I got the MK logo right there. Not sure if you can see it with the lighting and all. Because this is a pretty busy wallet with, you know, the design and all. So this is how the side looks. Um, I don't have like dimensions or anything. Like this wallet is really old. So I mean I could maybe look it up. But I don't ever really go into dimensions. It's a pretty kind of medium small wallet I would say. Like it's, it's not big. It's actually pretty small. And then when you open it. This is how the inside looks. So right here you got the logo and then you have a slip pocket at the top. And this right here is just another like card holder that comes with it. A lot of people, you know, put it right here, but I honestly, it's in the way. So I just put it in the zip part at the top. The zip part is brown on the inside and it fits a lot of stuff actually. It's pretty deep. Like, half my hand fits in there. So, it's pretty deep and fits a lot of stuff. Like I said, I always take this and just put it inside there. Um, in the zip part, I normally just put coins in there or, like, small receipts or small business cards wherever I go. So, that's normally what I put in the zip part. And then in the little card thing right here, this little card holder, I put, like, I don't know, important cards Depending on where I'm going because sometimes I don't like to take this whole thing, but I'll bring this and just have my cards But I think it's really cute to have So this slip pocket right here is not the deepest But you can fit cards in there, which I like and then when you close your wallet You'll be able to like see it from up here. So I like that too So at the bottom you have a slip back pocket right here Half my hand fits inside so it's pretty deep and then you have one, two, okay, three card slots right here. And then two more slots over here. So these are deeper pockets as well. And I just put other little like knickknacks, like business cards there or like gift cards or something. I'll put them in these two slots. My main cards I'll put right here. And then up here, I don't know, sometimes I'll put like a receipt or something. So yeah, uh, it's not much to say about this wallet except for the fact that it does have a lot of good compartments. So I really like that. I like that it's not big. I really do because I I don't hate big wallets, but they take up a lot of room. 
And I mean, it's good if you one that like carry a wallet with you, like just the wallet. But because I carry a purse too, and most of my purses are small, a big wallet wouldn't probably fit. So, but uh, the zipper is gold. The accent is gold. Hopefully you guys can see that because this is kind of an older wallet. So, but it hasn't tarnished or anything. So I do like that. And the Michael Kors logo is gold too. I hope y'all can see that. I'm trying to look on my little screen to see how it look, how you guys will be able to see it. I'm going to actually just bring it closer. So the next wallet I'm going to show is this wallet. Um, this is the one that one of the people who commented on my video was asking about. So this is the MK Color Block Mini Logo Wallet or something like that. You know, I'll show the name on the screen. But, um, so I got this wallet when I had got my pink and white bag. By the way, that video has the most views on my channel. So definitely check it out. I even had a few people say that they bought it because of my video. So that's really awesome. So definitely check that video out. It'll be linked at the end. But, um, this is the wallet. As you can see, it's small. As a size comparison, it is smaller. So, it is a back pocket on this wallet. Not that deep, and it's pretty tight. Like, it's gripping my finger. So, I just put, like, little receipts or business cards in there or something. And then, the accent is gold, and the zipper is gold. So, when you open it, this is how the inside looks. Oh. Hold on, let me empty it out. I forgot I just changed purses today. So, but you can kind of see how the inside look with like my little card in there or whatever. It's like that. Your cards are very snug, so you don't have to worry about them falling out. Even though it's a zip up, so they won't fall out anyway. But your cards are very snug. Um, this one also, to me personally, have a good amount of compartments. Enough for me to separate like what cards or what like I put my debit cards in one I put my shopping carts in another one I may put my you know licenses in a whole nother one so I got room so it's four card compartments okay I think this is better I hope you guys can see that really good and then the other side is made exactly the same I can't get my finger in there <laughs> so I can show you guys and then it's a divided middle pocket and then two you know open pockets here in the middle so that's this wallet um the inside is like brown let me see hope y'all can see that it's brown and then let me see so it's this back pocket this back pocket is brown too like if you open it up which i won't be able to because you guys won't see it anyway but, um, if I had to choose between which wallet I like more, oh, that's a tough one. I think I like them equally. Yeah, I think I like them equally. Um, because they both have a good amount of compartments. The other wallet I showed you, this wallet, has more compartments, but... This one still fit a good amount of stuff, at least for me. Now, there are some people who have way more cards than me and store more business cards and stuff. I don't do that. And even if I do, when I come home, I clean out my wallet with whatever business cards I got for the day. Like, if I go to the mall, you know how people give me cards. So, I take them out anyway. Um, so far, I don't have any dislikes about any of my wallets. Like, I like all of them. So... This one I have probably like a couple months now. Actually longer than that. A few months. So I love this one. So the last one I'm going to show you is. Oh. I don't really consider this one a wallet. It's more of like a clutch kind of thing. But it came with this bag that I bought a few years ago. Um, my fiance had got it for me for Christmas. It was like my first little Christmas gift. The bag was only like $99. And it came with, you know, 
this too. And I'll just show you really quick. Um, it's the clear logo bag, I think. Michael Kors. It's the clear logo bag. Sorry if it looks a little worn out because I did have it for a few years. Um, but I'll be showing that in my first collection video and get more into depth with it. So what came with it was these two like clutch like things. <laughs> And one is just plain black, which I like if you want to put private items, you know, feminine goodies and stuff, or just private items. That's why I like this one. And then this one is the one that I was using pretty much as a wallet as well. I kind of used both of them as a wallet. Um, but sometimes I would carry all my stuff in here. Like sometimes I will put like all my essentials in here and use it almost like a clutch. Because, you know, it got the nice, like, wrist thing that you can put around your wrist and everything. So, you can still carry it and it's not too much. So, this one's a little worn out too. But it's still in great, great condition. Like, it's really good. So, the inside of this black one is all black on the inside. And then the accent is silver. So, like, the zipper the logo and then it's also made of like a plasticky material like the clear bag and then right here it does have a little notch where you can take the clutch off this one and put it onto this one so I do like that most of the time I pretty much used this one because it's clear and cute so um, this one also got a silver accent on it. The logo is right there in the bigger letters to match the bag. And the inside, it stretches open pretty good. And it fit a lot of stuff in there. So, yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm not even sure if, um, I'll show you the bag one more time really quick. I'm not even sure if this bag comes with these because when I was looking online and even went to an outlet store i saw this bag but it was in a whole different color i didn't see these i just saw the clear bag so um i did get the bag from i think he got it from macy's if i'm not mistaken i think he got it from macy's or dillard's so um i did just learn that michael kors make different stuff for them so that could just be something that's completely different. When I store it, I normally just put the smaller one, the black one, the privacy one inside of the clear one. So, but yeah. So, I guess a size comparison of all three, if you really want it to look. So, they're all obviously different sizes. But they're all good in their own way. So, I love my wallets. And I will be getting more wallets because I have more bags now. And they're all, like, a array of different colors. So, I want to match the wallet with my bag. So, that's currently what I'm working on. But, I'm happy that once this bag comes in for delivery, that my collection will pretty much be done. I was thinking about a nude color bag because that could be pastel too, like tan or whatever. But... It's not a priority because I love colors anyway. So that's more on the, you know, later down the line, you know. I, my goal was to have like all pastel color bags. So, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, when I get more wallets in, I'm going to do a whole, you know, updated collection video. But I just wanted to do this video because someone asked about it. So that's all. But anyways, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm like 15 subscribers away from 500 subscribers. So really excited. And make sure you check out my Instagram because like I said, I post there like every single day. And I post a different array of stuff. So definitely check out my Instagram at Planazoid, which will also be shown at the end where you can search it on IG. And don't forget to check out my other purse video with um, a pink and white purse. It'll be linked at the end of the video too. So see you guys soon.